It's out! Why would they have two conduits? That's that I don't get. One I don't, of them got crushed. None of that makes any sense. Okay, so we're back here and we're gonna be running a quick drop just from this house here over to the side of the house. The tub is there that Craig is currently unblocking. Just last week I did a drop here, a video I just posted this morning. Um, so yeah, should be a pretty easy run. Uh, this tub was full of water last time, which I assume it still is. I'm worried that it's frozen because we had a big frost. That being said, it's pretty insulated with all the snow. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll it'll be all right. Um, yeah, let's get going. Ooh, what a nice sunny day. Oh, there's less water this time. Boom, boom, boom. Ugh, this is ugly. Two cat TV boxes. <laughs> Typical. So we have the coax box is the cat TV box. There seems to be two of them for some reason. And then the box for our fiber has coax in it. <sighs> and there's the fiber, I think. Yep. 2F fiber. Protected. What a mess. So I'm assuming it's this box, the one with the string in it. Should be fine because I found the string in there before. Boom. Oh, a chunk of ice. What'd you say? There should be. Do you see the stream moving? Moving? Okay, let's rock. There's a string in place in the tub which we thought it's this one, but no movement. So now we're gonna send the rotter in. See if it comes out. Just last week I was in there, so let's see. It could be either one of those conduits. Hmm. Hard to say. No. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. So we're having a little bit of uh, trouble getting through right now. We're going to try the secondary conduit and see how it goes. Okay, so this one here didn't go very far. We're trying in this one again. And that's where we hit the blockage right there. Damn it. What? Water. Yeah, I know. It's definitely hitting ice. Okay, so taping on this to see if we can break through some of that ice. Should definitely be right at the tub. Yeah, it's right at the tub. Wrap it around this and pull really hard while I knock. Maybe we can pull the ice out. We could drain the water out. You want to drain the water out? Pulling this side. Yeah. Quite a bit of water. Yeah. A little progress, slow going, but we're using this Milwaukee Fuel vacuum to suck up. 
the water here in the tub. This is what, like the seventh one? Seventh or eighth? It's a lot of water, but it is going down. Right now we're just trying to expose the conduit so that we can try to poke through it and break the ice. So yeah, I'll update you when we're further down. This is wild. We've already removed maybe 12 of these. It's gone down at least eight inches of water and there's over a foot of water left. See, there's like a bucket over there, or something useful. That that little kitty pool. <laughs> Think if I have anything. Okay, so we've stopped vacuuming because it's going too slow, and there's still like another foot of water. We bailed out another couple inches just with the bucket, and uh, right now we're going to attempt to use the vacuum at that end to blow through to see if we can get any kind of passageway. Fortunately, the customer doesn't move in for another two weeks, so we have a little bit of time, but this is what we're gonna do for now. Okay, so we tried the other conduit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby, let's go. Okay, sick. Really weird because it was stuck just here though yeah like, so that's probably what was blocking it i know but right before you came in i ran it down here again yeah yeah it's going right there well let's see this might be it well and I was that's a crazy amount of water coming out there and i was surprised that you can get through there i got through I'm surprised it was this one though i think if they rerun it <laughs> Oh, I'm stuck again. Hmm. What are we stuck on? Yeah, that's a lot of air. That's full air. Hmm. Okay, this is progress though. This is progress. I was about to give up on this one. Hmm. I'm wondering why. Well, why it looks like it was coming out on the side there. It looks like it was coming out. Right yeah, the they're like stacked on top of each other or something. Because I also thought this house was that one on the right. This string we're pulling is probably for like that house over there. Well, let's try and pull it off. Oh, yeah, that's fine. But there's no string. There's no string in that conduit. Yeah, I know, but I'm wondering if we're just. Why would they have two conduits? That's that I don't get. One I don't... of them got crushed. None of that makes any sense. Look at the house side and I notice I have this tape and there's like this lip here and I think it, this could be getting stuck on an elbow which I highly like doubt but I'm gonna like fuck with this a little bit there's something there that's like it's getting stuck on Doesn't make sense because air is going through, but this is barely in too. It's like 10, 15 meters in, 10 or feet rather. Hmm. And you guys, you guys saw or will see the amount of air coming through. It's crazy. We really thought it's this one because the string is here, string there, but water going straight through here. Hmm. We're gonna try with the Klein steel fish tape and see if that works, but. Yeah. Just hold the handle. Yeah. 
What? That's so weird. Like, what is it getting stuck on? I don't so much air go through, but... It's air, right? It's going to make its way through anything. Yeah, but that's a lot. Like... Close it up a bit. It's got to be. Like, isn't it? the air goes there? Like, there's no way there's a transition tub between there and there. Well, we, got, we got two condoms, dude. I've definitely seen. Yeah, this is it's going to like right past that tree maybe hmm or super weird i'm gonna blow it again do you know which conduit it is yeah, yeah? i'm gonna do it again straight back should be easy because one will have cable one won't this one. No, no, no. That's the string for that. I just heard it click. But the water's coming from the left. So I know. I this is probably the main one. Why is the water coming from the left? Okay, I'm going to try sucking then. <laughs> Nothing. What the fuck? This is the weirdest, weirdest order. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What the fuck? Dude, what? It's definitely coming from the left. It's not just It's almost like it's coming from underneath. I just don't understand where the conduit is. I know. Exactly. Oh, here it is. It's this one right here. I don't have the cable. No, it doesn't. No? no, it's right here. Like right in line here. Yeah, it's right here. I mean, it's air, so it's gonna get through anything, but. Um. Bring me the end of the rotter. I'm going to shove it in through here. Okay, so I think I've identified where the conduit is. This is a real trial and error. I've never encountered something like this before. We're working blind. So, I think... I think the conduit is down here. It's going. Definitely gonna get stuck somewhere. And that's where I'm stuck. You hear it? Yeah? Hey? Yeah? yeah? Okay, send the steel fish tape down. Let's see if we can meet them up, meet them up and uh and snag, snag on. This will be a miracle. This is where it's beginning. How much did you get in? You got quite a bit of it. Yeah, like it's it work? No. What? More. Is this further? Yeah. I think. Oh yeah, we're touching. It's out. It's out. Yes. I don't know what we did, but we did it. Ha <laughs> ha.
Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Here, I can pull this out. This must have cleared the way for it. Yeah. It did stick again, but then I think it was maybe stuck at an elbow and then or something like. Yeah. Definitely water in it pretty deep though. Yeah. Too, so. That's sick. Alrighty. Well, progress. That's crazy. I didn't think we were going to get this one done. Goes to show. A little bit of perseverance, some troubleshooting. Damn. You guys better subscribe after that one. If you don't like and subscribe after all that work we just put in, I don't know what I'm doing here. Now back to regularly scheduled programming. That's crazy. Good work though. We got it done. Here we got through. I mean, I don't understand either. It was pretty. I mean, the air would be getting through even if it was just a little bit. So. Yeah, but that amount of air, like. Yeah, it would build up and find the easiest way out. If it's not getting out that way, it's going to get through the ice somehow, right? Obviously not. It wasn't a full blocking. So on these short runs, I always uh, uncoil to the nib and back. Just to make sure we have enough to coil in the tub and at the house. That should be good. And make sure we're not yeah, stuck right. behind. It should be fine, the new ones. Grab that. I don't want it to get wet. What do you want? Just, just the drop. Like the, oh, just Yeah. That. I just don't want it to get wet. Oh, I'm super happy about this. Especially since we spent a good amount of time on it. Definitely going to be building extra for this one. As soon as we got through that little snag, I'm like, oh, we're through. It has to be. Because at that point, once it goes further than we were, whether it could come through or not, we can twist and grab the rotter. That's right? why when you walked yeah. up, I was trying to do that. Yeah. I was trying to spin it and see if I could. We're gonna put a we're gonna put a, a proper nib on there. All right, give her. Fingers crossed. Uh oh. Not going. Hey, let me pull back. Let me pull back. I think I know what's getting stuck. This. All right, try that. If this doesn't work, then we'll pull string and then the drop. Go. Yep, we're in. You guys wanted to see the full thing. Probably get to see a lot of this. Another hard stop here. Not far. That's that's that elbow. Huh? I'm gonna pull back and then give it a good tug. Go. Okay, stop. I'm gonna pull back. I think it's that lip that's. Like it's, it's a hard stop too. It's not like yeah. I was gonna say we can pull string in. Are we gonna deal with the same issue though. What do you mean? With what the is string in there and that? Because it's this end. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it. You gotta cut it. Yeah. Bit overkill, but you hold. 
I tried to cut a lock yesterday with these. I have a lot of crazy dude. Hmm. I'm worried that now this is gonna slip out. I never like taping to this stuff. All right, try. Get string, please. Is it, so I can find it. Where is it? The question is here. Hold on for a sec. How do we tape this on? Without... Hmm. I think that whole thing is the problem. Yeah. I agree. The problem is like you need so much surface area to tape or else it doesn't stick, right? It's so slippery, this metal. This is why it's nice to get through conduits, but it's horrible to tape off to. I think we got a piece of drop. Fine, it should be okay. Where'd the tape go? So convinced this is gonna slide off. Nope. It's so smooth, it won't even know. <laughs> okay, we're back at the house side. I'm gonna be cleaning it up. I'm replacing the other boxes with this. Um, where's the other boxes? Okay, I'm gonna pull the other one back. Yeah, so these are the telecom boxes that are for our lines and uh, they had cat TV or cable boxes. So I'm gonna replace this one back here and put ours here. So first, uh, that flathead you took. It doesn't matter, I gotta knock this out. go get to knock that out boom now we get to pass our tracer our fiber boom. that was quite the challenge up a little bit still blocking a little bit there we go perfect so now I can tighten this loose i was gonna screw this to the wall but it looks like they haven't finished the siding here kind of weird that they didn't do this um it's actually good that this box and not this box because the fiber is here so at least they'll be able to swoop in right there it's not the prettiest thing it should be coming in the the back but just super sloppy all around this they obviously didn't line up with this i don't know why they they did it this way exposed ground I don't think that's right either. It should be like number eight or number 10. Regardless, we're here. We got it getting it done. So that's there. Beautiful. Let me just wrap this around here. Go 
there. Clean that ice off the drop. Ah, oh, come on. No. Three, seven, five, two, seven. I need the marker still, but yeah. Three, seven, five, two, seven, port three. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. I think I did that house by myself last week. I was worried I'd come across the same issue, but luckily my rudder just went straight through. I really don't understand why uh, houses have three conduits here. It's almost like there's a third service tub for a different provider but I'm not aware of it. Super weird. Do do do. Almost done here. Just cleaning this up. Get that out of there. Velcro this up, label the box, and we're pretty much done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely put a lot of effort in. We've been here for, I'd say over an hour, maybe an hour and a half, trying to troubleshoot this. We had issues with the tub being flooded. We spent about a good 30 minutes bailing and vacuuming out as much water as we could which i don't know if it was fruitless it definitely helped us be able to identify the right conduit and to get a little bit closer to getting the job done i feel like if i hadn't done that i might have given up on the job earlier but i say give up it's just like we have room on this job to for time wise so it wasn't under any rush to get it done Regardless, it it is getting done. Just gonna write my info here. Three seven five two seven port number three. Perfect. We have a drop, we have a tracer. I'm actually gonna if I can get this open, let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get this in here there we go so that it's hold, held in place and it can't be pulled in from the tub no, it's stuck in place perfect i'm really happy with that i'm going to close this up clean the rest of this stuff up and uh yeah Okay, so we're back at the tub side, just cleaning this up. This tub is a mess now with all this stuff. Um, we're going into port three. We have, wait, what? I gave it a wrap. What do you mean you gave it a wrap? Well, I gave oh. it a wrap, but then you put it. Okay. So it was always aiming to do a 180 loop here. Leave that tail out. Ready to get out of here. We spent way too much time here. Where's the tag? Thank you.
So yeah, just about done. I'm gonna close this up, take some pictures. This is definitely one for the books. I'm sure you guys will enjoy the hassle we went through. But yeah. Okay, so we just finished this job. Um, it was quite a challenge. We went through a lot of uh, snags. We had a flooded tub. We had frozen and or crushed conduits. We sent rotters back and forth multiple ways. You can see all the water that we bailed out and had to pour out, but we got it done. We spent about two hours here rotting back and forth, getting, getting through. The conduits at the house were a mess. The boxes were switched. A lot of issues here, but you guys will see all that in the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment and like the video. And a big shout out to my Milwaukee fuel vacuum. This thing came in clutch, drained probably a good 50 liters out of this tub. So.